We are here live on the 802 and we are so excited because we have Meg Staloff, Program Coordinator of Wilmington Works, a great organization that helps in all sorts of ways of downtown Wilmington development. Today she's here to talk about the Beaver Street Art Project. Meg, thanks for coming and tell us a little bit about the project as a whole. Sure, so the Beaver Street Art Project is uh, a project to commission a work of art to go on the wall around the Richards Group, which is 27 East Main Street, but the wall runs down Beaver Street and around the corner onto School Street facing the old school community center, the old high school. Um, so we received a grant from the Vermont Arts Council to commission a original work of art to go on that space, and it's an animating infrastructure grant. It's a way to bring art into our built environment um, in downtowns. So we've been working really hard. Um, we put out a call for artists um, at the end of the summer. Uh, we received 11 applications from across Vermont. Our committee winnowed that down. It was very hard, but we picked four um, semi-final artists and then they um, all prepared a concept design proposals, a little more extensive work for us. And then we chose two finalists and we'd like to put those two to the community to vote on their favorite um, to choose the project that we will then um, finish the commission and have produced to put on the wall. So the two projects that you have chosen are extremely different. We'd love to hear about the artists themselves and the projects that they've presented. Sure, so first of all, we have a mural proposal. Um, an artist, Lopi LaRoe, she goes by the moniker LMNOPI, so Lopi. Um, she has worked, she lives in Rutland, um, and she's worked extensively um, various places uh, based in Brooklyn for a while and um, has also worked in uh, Boulder, did a mural last year. She's done a lot of work. She just did uh, her first Vermont mural in Rutland. Um, so this proposal is for it on our sort of a little known historical fact that there were three women in 1927 that hiked the long trail together, no male chaperones, unheard of at that time, and became the first women to through hike the entire trail. Um, so um, they are honored in that, but then we also have the figure of a young woman um, who is a contemporary woman, and it kind of juxtaposes these women from um, 1927 with kind of a youth of today and sort of the passage of time. The, the flying papers kind of symbolize the passage of time and history. Overlaid on the mural is a topographical map of our area, so people who look closely will be able to see lines. They'll see Haystack Pond and they'll kind of recognize our local area. And um, the artist likes to play with the interplay of the lines of topography with the faces and the form. So it'll tell a little story from history, which you know we will kind of describe on a plaque on the wall. Um, and so it'll it'll be compelling to see from a distance and then invite you in to hear a story really cool idea and then the second one that you brought is so different from the first but still plays in so well to our vermont theme yes yeah, so um taryn is holding here a little prototype of this metal sculpture made by junker studio uh, based in chester vermont now this is a very small piece of it this was one inch to one foot so it starts out kind of depicting our natural world the stratton watershed natural um you know, wildlife, there's a moose, there's a bear, there's lots of water, rivers, and mountains. Um, and then it segues into this representation of the hoot toot and whistle train, um, at bringing, you know, log cars. And there actually will be logs on these. It was hard to make it that small, but there will be logs on this logging train. Um, and there's like a little logging camp. And then there'll be a section that um, kind of honors Wilmington's built history, some of our historic buildings, and then take us kind of into the present day. So it's a, it's a long running sculpture. It'll be made of court and steel, which is an, um, it's an architectural metal that will um, weather and rust naturally over time, but it's very, very durable. So um, this is sort of a, a piece that would last a very long time on the wall so difficult to choose between the two because they're both so beautiful but so different. I know we have not made the choice easy for people. I'm sure some people will have an immediate favorite. Some people will have to really think about it. So we are going to be holding um, open houses because honestly seeing them on the screen or in pictures doesn't really do these works justice. So we'd like to invite people to come um, and see the works. They're um, at the Old School Community Center in Wilmington and in the, the meeting room. So we'll have that open on Saturday the 15th, pretty much all day. I hear there's a lot of basketball games, so we, any families are welcome to come in or 
anyone who wants to come in and see them, you can vote there. Um, we'll also be on the 20th of February and the 27th in the evening from 5 to 7. People can also vote anytime at beaverstreetart.com where we have lots of photos and information and there actually is a form to vote right online. Now Meg, can anybody vote for, e for their favorite? We are opening it up to the entire community. So any community member, someone who drives by the wall, knows the location, has an interest in this project is welcome to vote. You can only vote once, you know, we'll be keeping track of it, but um, we're, we're really opening it up to anyone who has interest in the project can certainly vote. Well, Meg, thank you so much for coming. I know which one I'm voting for. Do you? I haven't decided You yet. haven't decided yet. I haven't yet. decided yet. Well, I have. Thank you so much for coming. Check out the Beaver Street Art Project. Go to one of their open houses or go online to their website so you can scroll through different thumbnails of the projects. Meg, thank you so much for coming. And uh, for me. yeah, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. More to come live on the 802. Yeah, I love it.